you guys take a round? <laughs> we were trying to save some money, so we made all the things. All right, we can kill the music. Some say, Jay, we've asked, we've called some of you. Some have described Jay as a Renaissance man of the 21st century. Some have said, he is absolutely the most interesting man. Some say, he's a survivalist. At the end of the day, you want to be with Jay. He's adventurous, he's daring, he's a music enthusiast. And he's always up for a good time. Jay started off as chair of the board of the Galveston Chamber with the most attended event in this chamber's history with 1,800 attendees at your 177th annual meeting a night at Gillies and the 50th anniversary of Urban Cowboy. <laughs> Jay let us not only crew Lemonade Day, Lens, not only through, Jay let us not only through Lemonade Day, but through eight additional parades. His buses participated in 65 parades total in 2022. Jay led this chamber to the most lucrative women's conference in our history of the Galveston Chamber, which netted $275,000. And that was his cake because he sponsored every event. Rock your dash. Jay accomplished his goal of making chamber history, marching, which is how we got the parade idea, through a milestone of over 1,000 members. Yeah. 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 Jay also led the way to our new chamber home, which hopefully we will be moving into, thus being the, Robert, I thought the box was yours. She can do it. Okay, Robert. He's shy. Located in the Hutching Ceiling Building. Hopefully we'll be moving in in 2023. He's the past chair of the Grand 1894 Opera House. He's a tennis shoe fanatic with a collection of about 20 pairs of tennis shoes, one of which he's wearing now. Show them, Jay. He used to collect Swatch watches, because those were hot, uh, and has about 100 of them. Being on his tractor is his happy place, mine too. He played the trumpet and baritone in the high school band and now plays with the Galveston Community Band. He's a storm chaser. He almost didn't make it out of, the New Orleans, out of New Orleans before the levee broke during Katrina. He started a very successful DJ business in high school and his company was called Deadly Sounds. Originally, his equipment was in a casket. That's super funny, y'all. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> this business became extremely successful. He stopped DJing in about 2000. Right out of college, he bought Melody Record Shop. It used to be on 21st Street. It was the oldest record store in Texas. He closed it to go to be a, is it a practice manager for UTMB? Jay met beautiful Lori. When she came into Jay's Melody Shop and after they started dating, they found out that their mothers were both from Belleville, Texas, and, he had gone, and they had gone to school together. He's been the interim worship leader at First Baptist Church Galveston for 20 years. He's a roller coaster fanatic. He and Lori are the best tour guides for New York City, especially if you want to see everything in 24 hours. Those of you that have Facebook know what I'm talking about. He's the announcer for Ball High School football and has been for years. He drives a powered parachute in his spare time and would gladly take any of you up anytime. Hands raised. Uh, only Jill. Uh, he would have Christmas decorations up all year long, if up to him. He's always been a big Dallas Cowboy fan. When he was junior high school, he wore a different Cowboy shirt every day during the football season. He also went to SFA State University when he was in junior high school to meet some of the players. He got all of their autographs, of course. Jay used to play beach volleyball and court volleyball. Lori said he played it every day that ended in Y. 
I thought that was super funny too. He could watch returns of Planet of the Apes and Hogan's Heroes all day. He's a huge Roger Staubach fan. He and Lori are avid concert goers and have attended well over 200 concerts, sometimes multiple within a week. Jay and Lori will celebrate their 30th anniversary this coming year. Jay just received Funeral Director of the Year. Jay led this chamber to the most successful financial year in our history, meeting our annual budget in September. And as of November 30th, we are at 379,839.50 better than budget, and we still have December. The Galveston Regional Chamber of Commerce received, oh, and this just about makes me cry, a five-star accreditation under Jay's leadership. And let me tell you one thing that is not, that you might not have caught in all the press releases, is we also received a perfect score in every category. The only comment was that just keep benchmarking. A perfect score is very rare, a five-star accreditation, as you know, very rare. And our super big announcement is 2022. Uh, we're going to celebrate Jay as our 2022 board member of the year at the 178th annual meeting. Back to Detroit City, a salute to the Fork Toms. scenario book because he's pretty awesome but could you escape a snake pit do you know how to avoid a murderous clown if not it's in here but there's lots of fun gifts for you including some mermaid sparkle in case you <laughs> thank you so much friends <laughs> Thank you for all the information. 